Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Takeru and welcome to this let's play of Crunch and Break. So, I got, uh, I've actually for a long time wanted to play this game, but um, I just got the game um, a couple of weeks ago. And that means, well, now I can finally play it. Um, I know there is some, uh, there is the game story element to the game, and there's, what I know of, there is some background things also, uh, like movie stuff and such. Uh, that you can watch to give more information about uh, the whole world in this um, game. Um, but I will only be playing the game side of the story, so that also means that if you people want to see the other side of the story, you have to get the game for yourself. But um, I don't actually know that much about the game besides of that, except for there's some time manipulation thing in the game. But um, we will see about that. Okay, so we have easy... Uh... New to short, uh, new to shooters, more in the, the the modern challenge. Okay, I think I'll just take normal. Even though easy is something that is speaking to me because then we can go faster through things. But um, I still like to do it faster and still have a little challenge uh, while playing. So we will take it on normal. The number one killer is time. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. Well, I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Riverport University. Here we are. <coughs> hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. Oh god, lag. Stop it. Okay, so, um... You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Good morning. Good morning. He actually looks like someone I saw in a film uh, recently. I can't remember the name of the film. I think it was Concussion or what something. But I don't have the time. I'm all the way over here. Don't talk to me. Okay. Um, I will just uh, quit going to the options because I want to see <sighs> options. Okay, that's how to do it. Uh, gameplay... Um, I'm missing some subtitles here. <laughs> um, is that audio actually? Disable copy music, load and range, music volume, sound, dialogue volume. Display... Oh, of course, display subtitles on. So, just so you people can read what they are actually saying, so you don't miss out on anything. I don't know if there's any secrets in this game, but I will just try to... I guess I should go find Paul. Yeah. Okay, that's where I came from, so... Where did he go? What the hell? He just disappeared. I was looking away for two seconds. Okay. <laughs> Rough night, huh? There it is, some um, Jägermeister. Uh, for, um, as 
just whatever's done even matter anymore. I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> but Aaron, I can see some Jägermeister and out here. Some head into the campus. Other things. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Well, told me to meet him at the physics building. So, yeah, that helps a lot, this map here. Okay. Let's, uh, um, locate narrative object in the world is immerse yourself deeper to encounter and break story. You can write previous challenge narrative objects inside the game's timeline menu. Okay. Campus, where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. <laughs> That's vaguely ominous. Just a little. Mm. Posted file. Hey, you take action now. Uh, the solution wants to tear down the pride of Riverport University, the beautiful and historical library building. Generations have started in. This is part of our heritage. Uh, they don't care. You are gonna put up with this. Of course you are. Are you gonna take action? Of course you are. First of all, go online, use save <laughs> hashtag uh, save the library and get loud. The only way they'll stop it. <coughs> Sorry, I have some in the throat. Uh, the only way they'll stop it, they look bad enough doing it. The only way they'll stop it if. Okay, I have no idea what that sentence is. The only way they'll stop if they look bad enough doing it. I think that sounds weird. Uh, secondly, join our protest at the university on October the 8th. Um, let's show them there are still people left in the report who give a crap. Okay. Narrative objective found too. Okay. So there are some things that I can look for, but it just seems like being talking to people and finding stuff. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, can we go home yet? Ah, uh, don't want to read all that. I found the collectible. I'm good enough with that. Can I go this way around? Okay. So yeah, they're protesting about the library getting closed down, it seems. Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Okay. Alright, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Okay. Go ahead, check out the chart. Oh. Monarch's uh. tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. 
I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city, and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> I will. Exactly. Uh, was there anything else? I walk in there, but I don't want. I actually want to progress, so I'm just. We found the funny collectibles. Well, it's not a lake. It's an ocean. Okay. I... He's been gone for five years. You can't show me scan movie. Okay. Um. Let's see. I have to go this way. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Yes. So let's You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce in the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring him in. Welcome home. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. He actually said. Um, what was he said? To the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? Because this one. I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. I can at least see what it we'll is. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. Okay. <clears throat> if you say so. Well. All right, let's do this. But yeah, this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. What was the Yeah, um. Uh, Jackie seems like someone I've seen before. It reminds me of uh, if you're seeing the X-Men movies. Welcome to Project Promenade. 
uh, the X-Men movies it reminds me actually of um, Bobby uh, aka Iceman I'm not sure I have to check up on that <laughs> and the only reason I you guys must have some budget the only reason I actually remember that is because I just saw him some time ago but you are looking at the biggest discovery of our time it's impressive but wills the scientist what do you need me for there's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m. Jack <laughs> I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers. All with no evidence. It works. But they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Well, probably not a good thing to put him. Yeah. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. And you're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, let's see about that. Hmm. Some more reading I don't want to do. <clears throat> I probably miss a lot of the story because of that. So What's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes. Years ahead of our time. Welp. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Well, let's um, do this then. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. Oh, sorry. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Well, are you sure it's supposed to do that? What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Okay. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. Slightly I horrifying. Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. You're saying so, but um, I'm not. Fully convinced. I have to feeling that. Here, yeah. take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. Okay. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Something like that. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three. Two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. 
I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Well. Remember this moment. Paul, <laughs> what? How? <laughs> well, that's creepy. It's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from 2 minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean just Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before disasters they happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. Okay. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hey, hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. Nah, that didn't work as planned, I think. Not what I had planned. Something is wrong. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time. Nice. To end. <clears throat> Actually, I, did, I can push things like this. Okay, let's see. Check on your brother. Where the hell is this? Let's see, I don't think I need to go this way then. Is this really happening? This look weird. I really like the effects though. And that thing is floating and I can push them. 
and then the resets. Okay, nice. But yeah, of course they will, because they're what sitting the in another time. This is crazy. Hey, brother. Well. <clears throat> She was right. All this time. One call. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Nah, it's fine. Let's see. Hey. Escape from the lab. Okay. Come on. You can escape through the hatch I came in through. I didn't want to leave Paul. But there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Hurry. Well, let's go. Fire. What the hell? Hurry. This way. Don't fire. Hit me or something. I really don't want to get shot at. Jack, your hands. You gotta keep moving. No. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, um. your proximity to the pulse, it, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. <laughs> Speak English. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down. Leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Well, that was stupid. That didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. I do? Maybe this guard had something on him. Okay, this. Do you have anything on you? What did you say? <laughs> Oops! I just picked up a gun. Coming! Why am I running so slow? More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. Okay. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make him listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. 
The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic. <laughs> you. here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... Can we move on? You have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. You can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. You don't think so? Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. And out. Fracturing time is only going to get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. You think so? I broke my shoulder last time. Almost. And well, hello. Out. Uh, how do I shoot? Oh, there. There we go. Good night. Okay, one down. Okay, it's really not easy to. There we go. To aim. <laughs> <laughs> this game, I say, and just make it a headshot afterwards. Okay? I think so. But Jack, that was. I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Eh. Where? Where did he go? Oh, there. Uh. Get out of here. Why can't I pick this up? Well, okay. Can you open this one? Not good. This is not good. Wait, it's coming down. Hide. Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Where is everybody? I don't like it. You heard the gunfire. Something's gone wrong. Hey! The other Joyce is here! We got to right now! Take care of your contract! Monarch! Monarch! Take care of the civilian! Okay, one down. Ow! Oh. There we go. Okay, <laughs> bigger guns works much better. Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to. How do we Jack and William Joyce been detained. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. You must be after the machine. Probably. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important to fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. 
Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken, fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. Good brother. The countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? Fuck. Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Move away, brother. They did this. Oh. Well, shit. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stay. She was right. About the fracture. About all of us. Um. I want this. And I want this. Oh. <laughs> I just switched it out now. <laughs> Yeah, I already regret that, so I'm coming. I don't want to be here when the stutter collapses. Where's your car? This way. You don't need daddy's guns. Why are we going after the young one? Take this. I met this girl. I'm doing my way here. And I take her. She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Okay. Them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. Seems that way. Take it. parking lot through the ledge hall. You said you were prepared for this. You knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. What? This door? What was that? Oh, maybe. No, no. My car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh, God, that's. It's. Okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? Nope. No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. That was a way to look at it. <clears throat> okay. Don't. Oh, thanks. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. I, I will. Why did you go out? I was not ready. Uh, press Y to activate time vision to locate enemies, hazards, and items. Time vision deactivates when you move. Okay. Powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. Probably four. Drunk and some shit. Okay, but um, I think I will end this uh, episode off here because else we can continue for a very long time. I already played longer than I thought I would. So yeah. Um, I hope I can save somewhere, uh, or at least checkpoints. I have no clue how that works in this game. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell.